Smart Notebook allows you to add links to your files. These can be links to outside websites, but they can also be links within the file. First, I'm going to show you how to make a link to an external site. You have a few options. The first thing you could do is you could actually type the link in, choose your select tool, drop down menu, and then choose link. Now here you can notice at the top it says link to, and you would like to link it to a web page. The web page would be, and then here you have the option. You can either launch by clicking the, an object that they will place in the corner, or the actual object itself. I personally like the look of clicking on the object itself, but if you're worried you might forget that the link is there, the corner object is really helpful. So if you do corner object, it looks like this, and you'll be able to see that there's a little globe there that indicates that that's a link. So when you go to click that, it will pop open whatever your site is. Now, another thing you can do is you can actually have an object be the link. So you could use a shape, or you could even use an image, perhaps one from your gallery. You go through the same process, you click on whatever the item is, click the drop down, go to link, enter your web address, and this time I'm going to change it so it is an object, so I can insert the link. Now you'll notice there's no image there, but when I click on the dog, it will still take me to the site that I've listed. Another way you can do links in Smart Notebook is to link elsewhere in the file. So for example, one thing that I tend to do a lot is I will insert an arrow that will get me to a certain page. I might add in an arrow that takes me automatically to the next page. Now when you're in full screen mode, you do have these arrows to navigate back and forth, but sometimes those are harder for kids to see. So you could do um, the arrow here, drop down menu, link, and now notice if I go to link to, I can choose a page in this file. It doesn't have to necessarily be to a web page. So a page in this file, it's going to show me all of the options that I have. Now these are really helpful. These page titles refer to specific slides. That means that link will always go to that page. But sometimes you might want it to just go to whatever the next page is, even if the order of the pages changes, or maybe the previous page. Another common one is to send students back home to the first page. You might put an icon of a little house or something there so that they always know they can get back to the home page. This means no matter where this other page ends up in the rotation, this link will always take it to the first page. And again, you can do the corner object or corner icon or the actual object itself and click insert. So now when I click here, it will take me back to whatever my first page was. You'll notice that when you click on any particular object and you select link, you'll notice in addition to being linked to a web page or a page in the file, you can also link to a file on your computer or to the attachments in this um, particular file. You'll notice over here there's the paperclip that's kind of a universal symbol for an attachment. So you could have this program to pop up a certain um, document or some other um, file on your computer. The only thing I'll caution you about is if you link to a file on your computer and you then share this file with another colleague, they won't have that same link and that link will be broken for them. So if you're planning on sharing the file, it works better to attach something and then put a link to that attachment. Um, so just keep that in mind if you are going to, to share those files. Another thing you can do is if you click under insert, you can also insert an internet browser. And what that will do is it will show you a web page, whatever web page you enter down here on the bottom, it will actually show you that page in this window. So for example, if this page was google.com, I would see that internet website right in my smart notebook page. And in there, I can actually navigate around that particular site. You can also, you can use back and forward buttons just like you can when you browse the web. And you can go to, you'll notice up in here it says um, you can pin a page. So if you are worried about getting to the wrong page, you can always pin something so it's not lost. And then you can always return to the pin page as well.